psychology and other ones, disciplines. Yes, here this very topic is very interesting. Psychology and other disciplines. Psychology and other disciplines. Relationship between psychology and other disciplines. One, biology. You cannot talk about psychology without biology. Yes, there is nothing like psychology without biology. Because of what? Psychology is all about reasoning. Reasoning is all about what? Thinking. Thinking is, is all about what? Brain. Nervous system is transferred into two. We have the brain and we have spinal cord. And then it's equally transferred into preferred, preferred nervous system and what? Central nervous system. And the preferred nervous system is transferred into two. Autonomous nervous system, preferred nervous system. And somatic preferred, preferred, preferred nervous system. Automatic preferred nervous system controls what? The unconscious behavior of human being. And this is what Sigmund Freud said what? That our life is embedded in the unconscious and most of what we do is as a result of what has been repressed in our conscious world. Then autonomous controls what the unconscious. Then the central nervous system, the, the somatic controls what? The conscious, that life, that attitude, that behavior we are conscious of. Somatic aspect of that, it controls that. Then biology, why I said that you can't talk about psychology without biology is that. Biology is all about our inheritance from our parents. What you inherited. That is what will influences your behavior. And then psychology is all about behavior. So you can't talk about psychology without what? Biology. Psychology is all about biology. Then psychology and physical sciences. Physical sciences like physics and chemistry have also influenced the development of psychology. In fact, early experiments in psychology were very much modeled after and inspired by what experiments in physics. Psychophysics Psych emerged as well, and many of them started psychology. Yes, psychology and the physical sciences. As far as the science, this physical sciences has relationship with psychology. What is even psychology without physical sciences? You need to know what to practicalize what you have studied. And then, this is where you come out, we talk about psychology. Remember, psychology is a science, and we are talking about physical sciences. And then, both use this word scientific methodology. There are a lot of relationships existing between psychology and what? Physical sciences. Then, psychology and what? The medical sciences. For instance, clinical branch, clinical psychology as, a branch of, as one of the branches of psychology, clinical psychology as one of the branches of psychology, handles that these very aspects. Psychology, that's, this is where you see the dynamic relationship existing between psychology and medical sciences. Like counseling, psychology. Counseling branch of psychology and clinical psychology. All of them, they are more of chemical and they are more of what? Medical. So they have a lot of relationship. And this is where psychology and medicine works. Medicine and the medical world sciences. Psychology and social sciences. Wow. This is where you see a lot of relationship. Chicken sociology, for instance, there is a branch of psychology known as what? Social psychology. And this social psychology, the difference between social psychology and sociology is that social psychology and sociology. Sociology studies the macro aspect of life, and the psychology as a discipline studies what the micro and how that micro behavior influences the group. And sociology studies the macro aspect of behavior and how that macro influences what individual individuals that make up of that very social group. Then social psychology as a branch of psychology embraces the two, both the individual and that of both the micro and the macro. So this relationship is much. Coming to political science. As one of the social sciences, science courses, or uh, so, uh, departments there. Political science, they are what is known as political psychology. Political, political science is all about the political organization, institution, and governance in the country. And political psychology, as a course, says that what makes good governance is not, uh, is not the political party, it's not the people that are the, it's not the, the, the umbrella as a political party, but the individual that makes up the political party, and then the leadership that it represents us. Then psychology and education. This is where we talk about the methods, in this, in, in the, the psychological methods in education. Education is perhaps one of the oldest sciences with which psychology has been worked. It's method, it methodically was connected. The field of education is primarily concerned with the world development of effective approaches and techniques for impacting knowledge. This is all about impacting knowledge. Knowledge, they will have a method of teaching. And psychology must be applied for this thing to be worked, to be administered positively and in the correct way. 